This is part 11 of the Easy Design Space Planner tutorial. Now I will show you how to use information from a CAD layout. Meaning if you have received a CAD file, a DVG or a DXF file from your customer, you can use much of that information to help you build the layout. And what you do is, the first step is go up to the CAD import icon, click on that, it will automatically say that you need to save your layout before you do that and I answer yes and then I select the CAD file click open and it will show me the layout and with my scrolling wheel I will scroll away from me which means it will zoom into the layout and I can zoom in very close and then I hit with my left mouse button one time and I move with my mouse to the end section of the wall and I either double click to end the wall or click just one time and continue to build another wall and to align the wall I can simply hit the shift button on my keyboard and it will snap directly to the position where I want it to be and in one perfect line and to end the wall I double click. I will do this once more. If I want to draw this wall I'll zoom into it, press left mouse button one time, move to the position where I want to end and to align it hit the shift button and double click and it creates the wall for me. And Basically all you do is you follow the lines and build a complete layout from this. You also can pick if you want it to be an interior or exterior wall. So if I pick an exterior wall and draw one wall you will see that it has a different color to it and that means it's an outside exterior wall. Sometimes uh, you want to mark different objects or positions in the layout. You, you can do that by using what we call the gap marker and we have called it the gap marker because it's a great way to show where the windows will be and you just click one time and click one time and it will create a red measurement this will actually show in the layout when you're ready you can save and close